Good morning. Welcome to Morning Call. A bit of a pause yesterday and that's all you can call it after such a big rally. But the market just pulled back a little bit from the highs of the day. Maybe some profit taking. Um, and that seems like what's happened overnight globally as well. Markets have just paused a little bit uh, ahead of that important Ben Bernanke testimony tomorrow. Uh, so all markets are waiting and watching. They've had a fabulous rally and maybe people are just uh, taking some profits home. Let's see how the rest of the week pans out here. Mitali, hi. Good morning. Hi, Odin. Morning. There's probably going to be some global volatility around that event. But as you said, no damage done for any market at all. No, I, I think it's just a pause. Uh, but, you know, more and more voices are beginning to come out of the U.S. about uh, uh, whether QE should continue in its present form. Uh, so more and more people and policymakers are lending their voice to that debate because the Fed has done quite a bit, uh, and Christine Lagarde put it very, very eloquently, saying that central banks have bailed global markets out, but now they need to be careful about not overdoing it. Uh, so, you know, generally, globally, there seems to be a debate about whether this, flush, this flood of liquidity will continue or should continue in the way and fashion that it has been. And on that, it would be very, very crucial to see what Ben Bernanke has to say uh, tomorrow night. Uh, and all markets will be focused on that event. Even the slightest hint in the language that he is also contemplating uh, some kind of reversal in this, in this very generous QE stance, uh, that might send shivers down the market spine. Uh, so uh, let's see what comes out tomorrow. We've had a great rally. If there is some statement indicating what I suggested, then there could be a pullback or two for global markets and in the near term that becomes a big trigger otherwise uh, I think uh, markets are just about okay they've had a great run and they're probably consolidating though one day of a pause hardly means consolidation so we could take off again tomorrow if Ben Bernanke says guys chill I'm here with the money so don't worry about it for now so let's see how tomorrow pans out but it is an event which might move markets either way or tip markets either way for the moment Fed's been quite canny this time, though, for weeks on end, testing the market, will they, won't they, just sort of sussing them out. And the dollar index has seen a, a big move as well. But what about our own market, Odin? We did pretty much that. Mondays have become the more quiet sessions for us these days. Yeah, but you, you can't read too much into it. I mean, you know, it's one day of an intraday pullback. I mean, after a 700-point rally, Nifty gives up 50, 70 points from the top of the day. At best, you can accuse the market of tiredness. Uh, you know, it's run a lot. We were talking about that yesterday morning as well, that the last couple of days, it seems to be just moving ahead a bit sluggishly and a bit reluctantly. So I think some overhead supply is coming in. Maybe it's not helping that every day you're seeing these two, three offers for sale, which on the margin are sucking out some liquidity. And you can see that the FII number, while still very positive, now FII minus DII is pretty much zero for the last few days. So... Uh, the domestic institutions are pretty much matching the FII stroke for stroke on the other side. And the number is not those 1,200, 1,400 crores a day, but a more sedate 700 crores, which is not bad. But I don't think it's fueling the market momentum like it was doing last week. Uh, so none of this is to suggest that we've seen a U-turn. Maybe this is just a process of consolidation. Market goes sideways. But since there is a minor event tomorrow, uh, maybe we should just all be a bit cautious and vigilant and see what kind of cues come out. Because sometimes when markets go up a lot, at the merest sign of some disappointing note struck somewhere, that is used as an excuse for some kind of a near-term correction. So it could happen in global markets tomorrow night or starting tomorrow night. So you need, just need to be cognizant of that possibility. What about the index, so then, uh, around the 6 to 200 mark, it's been just cooling off a bit. Yeah, it's difficult to talk levels, Mithali, as we've been discussing the last few days. Uh, levels are not of great importance. So the market randomly were stopped at 62.20 yesterday, not that there was any great uh, meaning to that level as such, and then came off 70 points from the top of the day. So I don't think 61.50 or 61.100, any of these levels are very important. Uh, the market might choose to drift down a bit more, particularly if things turn a bit hairy across global markets over the next 48 hours because of what the Fed may say, but you could get a bit of a dip, but you know, after a 700 point rally, you could get a 200, 250 point kind of a dip, but that would be in the realm of a normal pullback in an otherwise very strong uptrend. Uh, so I think till 6,000 ballpark, and you can slice it finer depending on how technical you are. So you could say 6,020, 6,050, 5970, you know, 
So everyone will have a new level, but let's just say for the sake of simplicity that around 6,000 and anything above that qualifies as just about a pullback, unless something dramatic changes in the global space. So if tomorrow night we are presented with a situation that Ben Bernanke speaks in fairly hawkish tones and the market believes that in the next few months Kiwi will start tapering down, that's a material event for global liquidity and that will have repercussions. So at that point we'll have to take guard again. But as things stand right now, if all things are equal uh, through the rest of the week, I think the market might just be consolidating and digesting some of the heady gains made over the, made over the last few days. I think serious positional traders will only worry if the Nifty goes down to 6,000, 6,050 levels and then starts trading below that, then it would be a suspicion of a slightly deeper reversal in the market. For now, uh, there might be some adventurous short positions which may build up particularly if the Nifty does not pull back this morning. But I think they will be in the nature of probing trades rather than high conviction short trades. But oil sec the oil sector and oil companies may be in focus this morning again. Yeah, you know, actually yesterday the way uh, stocks like ONGC, BPCL were moving is a little unnerving. I think the market's getting a little edgy about this subsidy sharing because it's been delayed. Uh, today, tomorrow, hopefully we'll hear from the government. but. I don't think it's an easy call and the longer it takes, the market's fearing that the axe will fall on the oil companies in terms of bearing more of the burden. Also this whole relationship between the finance ministry and the oil marketing companies is getting very testy. But, you know, but it's almost like the finance ministry is saying, you know, what you guys are claiming is far too much and let's, let me find ways to tell you that this is not how much you deserve. Uh, so this whole export parity pricing business is designed in such a way, and I'm not criticizing the finance ministry, maybe they have a legitimate cause, but the end game is, or the end aim of this export parity pricing seems to be to say your under-recovery claims are vastly inflated and therefore compensation whenever or whatever form it comes in will be much lower than what you guys claim. And you can understand why some of the oil marketing companies are beginning to look a little nervous out there. Uh, uh, so let's see what shape it takes, this export parity pricing, what the subsidy sharing formula eventually emerges like. So I think the government probably will want to pass on as much of the burden to the oil companies because they have cut down on the subsidy sharing, subsidy burden with the diesel price hikes, etc. However, I think it needs to be kept in mind that they want to do a large offering from Indian oil and it will be the mother of their public sector offerings this year in terms of size. Uh, they cannot afford to do a bad subsidy sharing plan or penalize oil marketing companies and then go to the uh, market and say, okay, buy IOC at top dollar. So I, I guess at some point they'll have to keep that thing in mind um, in, uh, if they want to be a little harsh on the oil, oil companies. On the gas pricing issue, uh, you know, I don't think the market will fret too much about 6, 6.7 compared to 8.5, but uh, whether it will happen or not, I think is the bigger question.